Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lara Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We are still on the Android Material Design Basics. This particular tutorial will be creating a recycler view inside a fragment using the tab layout and the card view in each row. So we're going to create a new project. We're going to start a new project and we're going to name it Recycler View. fragment click next next we're going to select an empty activity uh, we'll maintain the activity name as main activity and the layout which is the XML as activity underscore main that's fine click on finish to create the project for the phone and tablet from here, we're going to be including some dependencies. Uh, what about we'll be talking about um, dependencies like the card view, the recycler view, and also the Android support design. So after the application is built, get to include that quickly. We do that in the Gradle script. What about we move to the build Gradle, the model app session. So we're going to include our dependencies. The first dependency should be the compile. So I'd like you to code along with me. Cam dot Android Spot Design Not that this time, it's gonna be this okay, the five. Point one, point one. That's fine. After that, we're going to include the card view. So we're going to do compile com dot address part. Card view version seven twenty five point one point one. Last but not the least, we put the recycler view compile com Android support. Cycler view version seven twenty five point one point one. Afterwards, we need to synchronize Gradle to get uh, the application set and ready. So uh, from here, we'll be moving to the resources. We'll be talking about the rest, uh, the layout files creating some layout files right there. The first layout file is the activity main. Uh, so let's start off with the activity main XML, which is a relative layout. So we're going to assign an ID to this. And uh, we actually don't need the padding bottom left and sort. So I'll have to take that off. Let me assign an ID. Android. ID at ID, I'm gonna call it main layout. It's fine. So it's actually pointing to the main activity, which is at the context, and the layout with a night match parent. That's fine. I'm gonna take away this text view and I'm going to bring in the Android support version 7 widget toolbar let's do it so I'm going to specify an Android ID
to be the toolbar. Android layout width, which is actually going to be match parent. Android layout height, app content. Uh, we're going to have Android layout. Align parent tab to be assigned true. I'm going to call on the Android background. So it's actually going to be an attribute to the color primary is gotten from the color XML. We're going to assign the Android um this time is going to be elevation. We're going to make it six dp. We're going to call the minimum height for the toolbar, which we're going to also assign the attributes of the action bar size. Now we're going to call the Android theme, which is actually going to call the style XML. We're going to call it a theme overlay, which calls the app compact dark action bar. Fine. We're going to have the Android. Now that's going to be the app pop up thing. Still calling the style. Now it's going to be the theme overlay. the app compact light. So we're going to import the rest auto, clicking the auto enter. That's cool. So I'm going to close out this way. Afterwards, we're going to have the Android Support design widget because we're going to be using a tab layout here. Tab layout. I'm going to assign an Android ID. It's equals to it's a tab layout IDs are very important because they will be referenced right in the Java source. Now we're going to give a tab mode to be equals to fixed and an Android layout below. But there, it's going to be an ID with a tuba. That's cool. 
afterwards we're going to have the layout with an height layout width which is match parent Android layout I is wrap content. Are we going to have a background? background of I'll still call it the attributes this time we get to call the color primary and uh, we're going to actually give an elevation 60p Going to call on the app tab text color, which we assign sort of gray. Let's call it D three D three D three sort of gray. Going to assign the app tab selected text color it should be white ff we're going to assign tab indicator color is kind of pink it's called fff to zero ff sort of pink now the android minimum height call the attributes the action bar size that that's set appropriately Afterwards, we're going to call the view pager. Let's call it this way. Android support version four view view pager. Sign an ID Call it view pager Android Layout below we Give it ID of tab layout to the words we call the layout week layout which is actually going to be for Match parent for for the height as well, which is going to be a wrap content. I will close that up this way. We have it in two, three, four, FFF. I need one more. It's always six. It's okay. Uh, we have it fine. The activity main set appropriately. 
I will need to call on a card item XML. We needed that, so we'll create a new card item very fast. Call card item. Creating that very, very fast. Come to the text. The linear layout with the rotation of vertical. We actually don't need some rotation, but let's change this to the relative layout. Let's take away the orientation. Layout with the night. Match payment by the height is going to be 68 dp. Let's go. Cool. So let's introduce the card view. Android Spark Version 7 Widgets. Assign an ID. ID equals card view. Now we also need uh, the XML. S, which is for the card view, which is actually going to call the HTTPS schemas. It's Android. That's com. Must not APK. Must not stress. I think auto. Gonna click on enter. Actually, gonna move on. Or the Android layout with match parents. Now for the Android height, which is actually going to be 62 dp. We have uh, the Android layout margin. That's for the four sites. We do assign 10 dp. And see that it wraps around the sides, the four sides. Are uh, we going to have Android let's let's have the card view called now. So we're going to actually give a card corner radius. So let's have a the rounded corner, that's what that means. For DP. Let's actually import that as well. Corner radius. And we're going to give an elevation. Our view. It's actually going to be equals to fourteen dp. That's fine. Close out this way. So right inside the card view, we're going to pass a relative layout.
with an Android width of match parent, height of also match parent. That's cool. Inside the relative layout, I'm going to actually pass in an image view. Call on an image view. What about we call the the width should be wrap content. While the height should be wrap content as well. And uh, we assign an ID. Or this assign ID. Android ID, which will be equals to. Give it IV image. We're going to call the source it's actually going to be drawable. A B C radio material CN radio material we're going to actually have a closing image view which we have right there set now inside there we're going to have another text view Problem with that, we can continue. The ABC BTN radio button. We're going to have set appropriately. So let's continue. Now we're going to have a text view. Or by the layout width and height wrap content. And we're going to pass in. An ID which we're going to call TV text. We are actually going to set the layout to write off, which so is going to be Android layout. Right off which ID now, which is actually going to be the IV image. We're going to have an hundred gar graffiti. Of sender. That's cool. Afterwards, we're still going to have another text view. With the with the night wrap content. Assign an ID. Call it ID. TV desktop lab. Begin to assign um, the text. actually going to be another cycler fragments 
just uncode that click on that so now we have the layout below it's actually going to call on an ID of the text which is the first text view we have Android layout to right off I'm going to call the IV image. We have the last but not the least Android layout to end off, which is going to be the image as well. Have it closed. Should have a closing text view. That's fine. Afterwards, uh, we have a closing relative layout, a closing Android support version 7 widget card view, and uh, our, probably we need to bring in a drawable to actually depict our. Uh, the button radio material for us to have the drawable soft uh, you have to create an XML drawable file called ABC BTN radio material it's a material design library radio which you have it this way let's quickly look at it uh, you have the item as ticked checked when checked as if you're trying to click uh, you, you call on the drawable ABC BTN radio 2 on MTR L015 and you have when not checked so it's actually going to call on the drawable ABC BTN radio 2 on MTR L 000. So that's how you select, uh, create a drawable resource file and you call it right in the card item XML. So you have it uh, this way. For the activity main, a little uh, modif correction. The tab selected text color should have the ash tag before uh, the color code. So you should actually assign it this way. So once you have, have it assigned this way, it's not going to have any record problems. From here, let's move on. We need to still create another resource file called custom tab. So let's create that quickly. We're going to the text. What about we have a linear layout with an orientation of vertical? Uh, the layout we tonight match parent. That's fine for what we need it for. We're going to create a text view. And the layout width and height of this text view will be match parent. We're going to assign an ID to this text view. Which we're going to call it custom text. That's fine. We're going to call the background. got to call the attributes selectable item background give it a gravity of center we 
we're going to give a text size 16 dp and uh, a text color white We are also going to give the Android single line. And this is deprecated, but we we'll still need to specify that to true. And now uh, we have it set appropriately. From here, we'll be creating another layout resource file called the fragment blank. Is actually going to hold on to uh, the fragment of different tabs because we're actually not going to actually add functionalities into those fragments so we just make it blank call it fragment blank let's go to the text it's a linear layout you have to change this let's make it a, a relative layout And let's maintain the rotation. Oh, do we need orientation now. Let's, let's take this orientation off. Layout with the night. Match parent. That's okay for that. So we're going to create Android support. Version 7 widget recycler view does this way that's an ID equals to was the ID or slash give it an ID of Cycler view. Uh, we're going to give it a layout with a night layout with first, which is actually going to be match parent. Uh, the height layout height. That's actually going to also be match parent. I'm going to have a closing recycler view, not relative layout here. I need to close out the recycler view first before the relative layout. That's fine. Just this way. Right there, we'll set all our XML files appropriately. Uh, we need to create the menu. We need a menu. Android resource directory this time called menu. Inside this menu, we're going to create a main XML. It's called main. So we're just going to set what uh, the action settings. Let's, let's quickly create the item. Let's quickly do that. Let's give it an item. Android. ID. Equals. ID. Action. Settings. Bye bye. We give a title. May not decide to give any title, but we really need to give a title. I think fine. Let's let's try to give a title. Let's try to give a title just to take out the error. That's not let's call it uh, 
cycler. So I'll make it simple. From here we'll be creating the Java classes and uh, in the Java classes we'll be talking about the main activity, we'll create an adapter and also we'll be creating the fragment uh, class. So let's quickly uh, start coding up the Java classes. In the main activity where we extend app compact, we have the on create method that call on the set content view, which is the activity main XML that was just talked about. Now we need to start share the toolbar. Create an object called toolbar equals to passing the toolbar. And we find the view by ID, which is the ID of the toolbar. Close that right there. Now we're going to set the support action bar to the toolbar object created. That's fine. Uh, we're going to get the view pager and set its page adapter so that it can display items. So we have uh, the view pager create an object view pager column view view pager find the view by ID now, the ID should be the view page, the XML. Now we call the page adapter, the page adapter, do the same thing. Now we're going to call the new page by instantiating. New page adapter. Uh, do we really need to? We have to get count fine, and we need. Uh, we really need this view. I don't think we need that, so I will just take away that for now. The new page adapter. Let's take away this. Okay, that gets there. Let me just take away this for now. Let me make it simple. The new page adapter. So inside this page adapter, we're going to get support fragment manager. So you can see how I'm calling the fragment manager, and uh, which is this particular class main activity. This class is the this keyword. That's fine. Close it out this way. And uh, you know, still don't need this. You now call the view pager set adapter is on the page adapter. Just like this. That's fine. Afterwards, uh, we'll need to give the tab layout the view pager. Or we create the tab layout. It's an object of tab layout. Of course, tab layout. Sit into there. Find the view by ID. And we call the ID our ID. Is the top layout of the XML file. Close it right there. Uh, now we're going to use the top layout where we set the up with view pager. Set up up with view pager and we call the view pager inside it. Let's go. Now we need to iterate over all the tabs and set the custom view. You know? 
So we use a for loop to do that. The counter variable i equals zero. Get that. Now we're gonna test for the length. If it's top layout, so we get the top counts. How many tops are created? And you add one to this as the iteration. Now inside there, we're gonna call the top layout. Top. Oh, bye. We're now going to get the top at is on the index, so we're passing the i now. It's parameter, and we have the top, where we set custom view. On the page adapter, I will get the top view. I send the counter, which is the eye. We get the top view. Or but we're going to actually create that method, uh, but we're still going to get there. So just let us continue. Uh, we have the two color braces. Now we need to to call to write to call the only resume method public void. Zoom. It's just like the lifespan of an Android activity. This time we call the super or resume. Let's pass it this way. Still need to make an override of the parent class of the or create options menu. That's what the menu. Call it the public boolean create options menu passing menu any objects That. After all, we need to inflate the menu. This is going to add the items to the action bar if the if it is present. So we have to get the menu inflator. Call the inflate. What we pass the main XML. for the menu that's set appropriately now we need to call on options item selected scroll down to override again we have public boolean and options Options, items selected. So, which is actually going to be the menu item. Pass the item. Have to import this. Then, Android view menu item. And uh, we're going to have an integer ID 
which will be equals to the item where we get the item height ID we're going to test if the ID equals to the action settings which we actually did those ones are just for menu action settings so it's actually going to return true So if not, it returns super on options item selected. How about you now put the item as parameter? That's fine. We'll be needing a pager adapter class which was instantiated over here. Uh, so we actually need that which actually got the support fragment manager so we cre we're creating a class right here called I'm gonna create a class called pager adapter it extends the fragment that we actually include the fragment pager we also use a tab layout so don't forget adapt we have to import the support version for app fragment pager adapter use the auto enter to import that so we have a constructor but let us quickly create a string field which is the tab titles we need to have a tab titles Scenario which will instantiate with a new string, which will equals to a new string array. Now we're going to pass in the arrays, which we'll just do this way. First, we we'll call it first tab. Call second tab. Say tab tab. Let's make it simple. There is enough. Close that right there. Now we call the context. Always need the context when it comes to to fragment context. Create an object context. We still have to import the Android. So the alt enter import start. Let's close our out. Now we're going to create a constructor, a pager adapter constructor, where we give a public pager adapter. Uh, we're going to pass in some parameters here. What we call the fragment manager fragment manager and uh, it's an object of fm hammer and also the context With context so simple now we need to have to call on the super class FM and uh, instantiate this context which we created outside of the constructor with the context that will be passed as a parameter. It's fine. I'll put this way. Now we need to get the item count which is very important at override to provide the parents now we call the public integer gets count what 
Why buy? We're going to return the top titles length. Get count length. That's fine. Uh, we still need the fragments. Right. Call the public fragment get item pass in the position. Uh, actually going to switch case switch statement here to actually get the right ID and uh, it's actually going to call the appropriate class to undo that so now the position is going to be the parameter the first case okay, zero is going to return a new blank let's say fragment we're going to create fragment so it can be something else second case will also return the same fragment so if you're actually doing uh creating different fragments for different tabs so you need to create a different fragment class so instead of me repeating the same fragment i will just call it different fragment class since we just only create one fragment case one okay, this should be of the case two because you're gonna have three fragments and it starts with zero not one and do the mistake it's just like an array an array starts with zero still call the same fragment that's cool now we need to return null case After the page uh, adapter class, we need to write the character sequence. Character sequence of the Java lang, where we get the page type method. I will pass this position, this parameter, which comes with an ID. So we're going to generate the title based on item position. That's what this method is doing. How about we return the tab titles position. Tab titles position. No problem with that. Let's get to move on. Now we're going to create the get tab view. I will call public view get tab view. This time we still pass in the position. 
going to actually call the view tab equals to the layout inflator from the main activity of this particular class and we get to inflate the layout which is custom tab we actually created that that's not a second parameter was that right there now you call the text view create an object tv was get a view by ID text view now it's going to be tab dot find view by ID Our ID custom text this for each tab view now the TV set the text is on the top titles position they get to return top now you need one more calibris okay so we're going to go further but i'll be creating uh, we have a string of the titles tab titles okay it's a new string tab titles position Let's move on. Uh, we'll be creating the adapter class, which will be called the My Adapter. Afterwards, we're going to wrap up with a blank fragment. Let's create the adapter. I'm going to call that My Adapter. This is actually going to extend cycler view called the adapter. But we're going to pass my adapter. Likewise, my view order get to create this view order so never mind with the extents just to get to do all that we have the private string which is an array give it m data sets Now we're going to provide a reference to the views for each data item. For complex data items, may need more than one view per item. And you have to provide access to all the views for a data item in a view order. So we're going to have a constructor for this class where we have the public st st static class my view order which extends the recycler view view order okay that now we're gonna call public Card view 
give it an object of M card view. I'm gonna call for the text view. Give M text view. Likewise, we're going to have the my view order constructor. Where well, we're going to pass the view. Create an object of V. We have to import this. Alt Enter. We import that. Now call the super class pass in the v object uh, we have to initialize the m card view equals to the card view now the v we have to find the view by id which is actually from the xml which is card view. Same thing applies to the mText view, which will be equals to a text view. The v will also find the view by ID, passing our ID, we call the custom text, or the, the TV text this time. And we have a TV text. As it is. So that's fine. We need to provide a suitable constructor, which will be for the MDA adapter. Sorry for saying the view order, this is a different class entirely. But now we need to create a suitable constructor that depends on the kind of data set we are passing. So that takes us down to the public. My adapter pass now we're gonna make it this way just pass a string array call it my data set this has to be around the parenthesis this way, this way, it's a parameter. Now we need to initialize this M data set. We now be equals to my data set. Close that right there. Now we need to create new views which is actually going to invoke the layout manager. Let's quickly do that. Now they are to the right of the public. My adapter will call the my view order. And uh, we have the on create view order. What about we're going to pass the view group, the view group, and uh, created the parent, and uh, we have the integer of the view type. Now we need to create a new view of what we call the view class. Objects equals to layout inflator from from the parent colon get context. Just that way. Now you 
call the inflate our layout card item pass appearance and you pass false as a second and third parameter that's fine you close it out there we need to set the views size margins paddings and layout parameters now we need to call them my view order each object from there of course so new my view order passing the parameter now you need to return the vh okay afterwards we need to create on bind view order it's actually going to be over here that's override now we need a public void which returns no value on bind view order Now we're passing my view order our order integer before the position. Now you're going to call the order object created cast it to the M text view and set the text based on set the text is on the M data set with a position that's fine we need to also override the public integer get item oh it should be in this line actually be over here get item count bye bye we're gonna return the m data sets Cause on the length. I'll set this way. Over right here, we have little error. It's the view order, not order. So just with this, it's going to actually take off the error signs of any of it. So that's fine. We write on course. So from here, we're going to create a blank fragment class. Let's quickly create that. Call it a blank fragment class. So we're going to extend the blank fragment extends with a fragment as a super class you have to import this or enter actually import the fragment we need to create a constructor public blank fragment So this is an empty constructor. We're just gonna leave it that way. Now we need to override. We need an onCreate method of the public void. 
bridge. It's because of the bundle. Save the instance state. Instance state. the super class on create and we pass the saved instance state this is parameter it's fine we need the on create view while we still have the override we have the public Well, we have the own creates view. Now we need to pass the parameters here. The first is the layout inflator. Inflator has the options. We have the view group, which has the container. We also have the save the state. State. It's fine. From here we get to inflate the layout for this this particular fragment. Now the view called root view equals to inflate inflator. Now we inflate. Layout or the fragment blank need a container and we also assign false the third parameter to use that appropriately we also call the recycler view about we create an object rv which will be equals to recycler view this time, we use the root view object from the view to find the view by ID. And we pass in the ID. ID RV cycle view. That's cool. Now, we still have need the RV here to set as fixed size the recycler view now inside a fragment make it true now we're going to instantiate the my adapter class with an object adapter equals to new my adapter right. we have the new string Array, well, we're going to actually pass. Sorry for that. It's actually going to be Colibris. First, we need to call example one. Just we're going to pass in an array there. Example one. We need a uh, Example two. Yeah, it told me the data. Example three. Example four. Example five. Going to actually do up to seven of these. Call example six. Example seven. 
that's why we close out the calibers parenthesis I'll make it look this way. that sets that up now we're going to call the RV to set the adapter and pass the adapter as its parameter what we've created that sets that up to that we call on the linear layout manager that actually manages the recycler list LLM with an object from that new linear layout manager which is actually going to get activity to use the ArcV to set the layout manager pass the objects experiment it's fine we need to return something quickly or we need to return the root view which is the view of this particular wonderful class that sets this up uh, this is the blank fragment that's each fragments uh, the three fragments created we actually use this particular class where we create a constructor an empty constructor and now we have the uncreate view that actually inflates the layout inflator the container and the saved instance where we actually call the recycler view created an object called RV we set as fixed size to true and we also instantiate the adapter whereby we created uh, up to seven example strings and we set the adapter now we need the layout manager where we also set the layout manager based on the object of the layout manager to the recycler view which is the RV now we'll go back to our main activity our, over here we actually don't need this uh, particular calibrate it's actually calling nothing so we need to take this out once we take this out, it's actually going to allow the tab titles to reflect with the tab titles array that was created uh, somewhere up there. We created an array over here, this particular array. Now we have that set appropriately. This actually needs the app fragment version 4 or version 7 but sets there now we have our errors all gone so I would like to build up this project uh, before I launch the emulator so let me run the build the build project so with that I will start up my emulator and I will be testing this application right there in the emulator I'll be uploading the source file to the GitHub account and I'll be sharing the, the link with you and uh, I'll actually be showing this as well in the emulator so I guess it's built successfully you can see the indexing going on so we have it's a successful build so that's cool so I'll actually start up my emulator and uh, review this in an emulator Our emulator can you see the tab the first tab second tab and the third tab where we have the settings uh, menu for the menu item we have the recycler view which is the title of this particular application so a click on the second tab creates flips and we have the example one which I actually created uh, right there which has the content right inside the top the card view can you see this this is a card view you know where we have the list so and the list is formed with a recycler view it's not actually the list item we used to have this a recycler view right inside a card view card view brings out the layout 
and the recycler view populates the list so this is just how it feels so if you're trying to integrate a recycler view you know inside a fragment you know this uh, tutorial actually covers that uh, in uh, it covers everything you really need to need it covers everything you need to integrate the recycler view inside uh, a fragment and it also uses the card view as well to display uh, the list item so this is just how it flows I'm actually developing for lollipop you know so you can also catch up with the source file right in the github link I'm going to share with you and at this point I'll say thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a lovely day bye bye